hey guys this is your boy clear of Mara, and today i want to give you a quick rundown of my programming experience for the past six seven eight years now yes i've been in the game for that long and uh look i wasn't being taught at school or anything like that right just learning by myself now big shout out to this kid called praise uh from church you know it was like my first time speaking to him although i knew him when he was like a small boy but he was like i still doing computer science and that was surprising just hearing that knowing that someone is watching my videos right so big shout out to you and guys please appreciate if you like the video by liking so basically first things first right have a reason why you're doing this right because at the end of the day guys there's a lot of people that have tried to become programmers or tried programming a lot of people nowadays have you know no html and whatever right but how many of them can come here and say that they've been doing this for 10 years right especially without like a varsity degree right so have a reason of why you're doing it now it could be a uh, building a startup and you do want to hire a programmer you need to learn to code right uh, and number two is our uh, programming is not easy guys quick rundown like i said programming is not easy programming is about logic if you have heard people say that it's not easy they are not lying to you now when you go through a pdf of you know of a programming language you know if loop or if statement uh for loop while loop whatever it dude that's not it all like you need to practice it's kind of like maths but the thing is it gives you a smiley face and at the end of the day it's gonna chow you <laughs> yeah so yeah it's like the cousin of maze basically so look you need to know how to problem solve and that's why maybe some facilities back in the day we were saying they want 70 percent for mathematics right so yeah they reduced that nowadays i think so yeah so yeah so when you become a when you get into programming just know you need to practice a lot right and uh number two is um getting stuck is normal guys getting stuck is normal now one of the most shocking things that i saw uh <laughs> was one of the senior developers or the senior developer in one of the companies that i worked in uh at checking stack overflow right if you don't know what stack overflow it's basically like a, a, a website for programmers where you can get help right and that was shocking to me right because look he's a senior this guy is very good at, at what he does right so getting stuck is normal you need to understand and one thing is one thing here guys is you can get stuck for a week you can get stuck for two weeks you can even get stuck for a month just know that stick to what you are doing right as long as it's good stick to what you're doing um getting stuck is normal unless i don't know right so yeah just keep that in mind don't give up quickly number three is um stick to a few languages when you're starting please 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 like this was one of the biggest mistakes oh this is one of the biggest mistakes that the youngsters do right they go on they learn python java c sharp and they think they they know how to program look you need to master a language you need to master a language ins and outs of a language and this is something that my this one uh, the senior developer that i look up to told me he told me that you need to understand like every single thing about that language that's how you become very very good right so master one or two three languages and um please be careful um not to jump around languages just because you go stuck or whatever master and uh number four is um it's a fast moving uh industry so listen when you when i started to code um php was kind of the thing nowadays it's kind of getting out you know old school like you know but when i started to code php was kind of the thing and nowadays go through jobs on linkedin or whatever most of them they're probably no javascript right so just know that it's a fast moving industry and please don't make the mistake of learning things that are becoming irrelevant learn things maybe don't follow trends right but i would say that learn something like java javascript and some framework about javascript and then learn a language like a proper proper language like c plus plus or c sharp and yeah just go with that now yeah this one i didn't write it down guys but yeah i basically want to say now here's the last one guys so basically when you're learning to code especially when you're learning to code by yourself build portfolios build portfolios build apps build programs because when you go to a job interview especially if you don't have a degree for programming they're going to ask you like what have you made right or they might ask you that so build projects and keep them build projects and keep them build projects for people and keep them freelance right make websites for your family for your friends for whoever right as long as it's, it's good right so yeah build projects because just studying the language doesn't won't guarantee uh a good end right so build projects and that will help you right so um yeah guys so basically before i cut this video i want to say 
I'm building something amazing called InnoCut Shopping. Now, I'm gonna make, be making, hopefully I'll be making a series about this project that I'm building. So if you wanna watch that, watch me start to build a startup, uh, try to build a startup with my programming experience or programming lessons, I guess there'll be a lot about programming as well. Um, please hit the subscribe button. I would really appreciate that. 